When I saw you at the end of the aisle, you blew me away. But my love for you goes so much deeper than how you look today. You're kind, gentle, and patient person, providing you're not opening a parcel. <laughs> you're an amazing cook and a talented baker. You always make an effort. You're thoughtful and determined. You're caring and exciting. You make me laugh. You make me smile. I could go on and on. But since our guests are probably getting hungry, and you are most likely getting hangry, I won't. I would like to finish by saying, you're my one and only soulmate, and I couldn't be happier that you said yes to spending the rest of your life with me. To quote friends, you are my lobster. <laughs> now, if I could all please ask you to raise a glass to my beautiful bride, Gillian. I could not have picked a more perfect woman to spend the rest of my life with. My friends prefer you to me. <laughs> my brothers and sisters treat you like one of their own. My mum and Kev love you. My dad would definitely have loved you. But most importantly, I love you. Today has been one of the proudest moments of my life, walking my beautiful daughter down the aisle. How do you describe someone whose nickname is Golden Balls? <laughs> he says so much about the boy he was, as when we were kids, he accidentally broke the leg on a 12 pound Ikea table and has spent the last 30 years terrified about his mother finding out. <laughs> These kids. It's true. <laughs> all that remains is for me to wish you both a long and happy, healthy married life together and all the luck in the world. So ladies and gentlemen, if you could please be all upstanding, I would like to propose a toast. <laughs> to Liam and Gillian. To Liam and Gillian.